Uh, Alright, <coughs> so uh, today's going to be a tutorial video on a Wilfa. It's a, it's a type of filter brewer. Um, it does all the hard work for you. They're really handy at home. They're not crazy expensive when you consider the amount of equipment you have to buy to brew filter coffee at home. <clears throat> and the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people wrote me, I've done a couple of times on Instagram stories, I've said, what do you want to see, or what would you recommend doing on the YouTube channel? And everyone's like, well, your passion, your knowledge all lies in coffee. And I was like, all right, cool. So the thing I use most at home is the Wilfa. And I haven't seen many tutorials online, so I figured why not do one? Um, so I'm gonna cover what you need and basically how to use it all. And it's that simple. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a Wilfa, the machine that brews the coffee. Secondly, filter paper. You're gonna need one of probably the Philotropas, the one with the flat bottom on it. And you're gonna need a grinder. At home, I use a handheld one because my electric one got robbed, but you can use an electric one. Next, coffee. That's an obvious one, but you'd be surprised how many people go to make a coffee and not have any. I've done it myself. I'm using Soma, their coffee roaster in Cork. It's a really nice coffee from Indonesia. Last things last, a scales. Scales is pretty important. I've got a super duper good scales here. It's not the one I use at home. But you basically just want it so that so that it goes to a decimal point. That's kind of important. Okay, so in any case where you're making filter coffee, you want to go with a 1 to 16 brew ratio. That means for every 1 gram of coffee, you have 16 grams of water. So in this case, especially with the Wilfa, it's a pretty good guide to have 30 grams of coffee for every half litre. So if you have 15 grams of coffee, it's going to brew you 0.25 of a liter of coffee. So that's a good way to go if you if you don't want to measure out your water. If you want to measure out your water, you can go different brew ratios. You can go 12 to 200 or 18 to 300 or whatever floats your boat, as long as you're using a one to 16 brew ratio. In this case, I'm gonna do a half a liter to 30 grams of coffee. Next, you wanna grind your coffee on a medium grind setting or even a little bit coarser than that. The same as you would for a V60 or a Chemex or a French press. Um, so if you imagine when water passes through sand or powder, it'll go through the powder slower. So you want it to go through the coffee at a time that allows for the best brewing and the best extraction from the coffee. And that means a certain type of grind setting. So. So that's kind of the grind setting you're going for. It's like loose dry soil, if that makes sense. So next, you wanna get your filter paper, fold it appropriately, place it in. And it's not completely necessary, but I always pre-wet the paper. Next, put your desired amount of water in. So for 30 grams of coffee, we're gonna go half a liter or 500 grams of water. Then add in your coffee. So once you've added in your coffee, you can settle it by shaking it out a little. Then you're pretty much good to go. Make sure your spout is over the coffee and turn it on. Now you'll see that Wilfa sign is lit up and that basically means that for 40 minutes it's gonna keep your coffee hot. Yeah. 